Hey everyone, it's Jerusha and you're watching Jerusha to a TV. This is going to be a behind the camera video today. I am just at home doing just homework and work from my office here at home. So I'm just going to jump behind the camera today. I'm in sweats, just relaxing. But this is a highly requested video to go over how I pack my Louis Vuitton Keep All 50 in the bandolier style. And I'm just going to throw in how I also pack my toiletry 25 uh, from Louis Vuitton in the monogram. But these two are my travel buddy uh, pair. They stay together, they live together, they play together. And when I travel uh, sort of for an overnighter or maybe a weekender, I take these two as a combo. Uh, even as a carry-on luggage with more luggage checked in, this is my go-to. So I'm going to show you how I pack both of these and then pack them together. Meaning that one in that one. So let's get into it. Okay, I'm going to start off with the actual key pull um, and going over if I was to, as I said, go on a weekend away trip, things I'd put in the key pull in the way of clothes. Uh, I'll just come into the key pool and just go over it in case you don't know. So this guy is my Louis Vuitton monogram canvas vintage <laughs> key pool bandolier 50. I picked this up from a Japan consignment store that I absolutely adore. They're called Gallery Rare. I always link my Japan consignment stores below in the info box so you can check them out. Gallery Rare have just really really good quality stuff and this key pool I don't know if you saw my unboxing but I was very excited um, I got the uh, luggage tag hot stamped with uh, my initials there JC and it's just gorgeous absolutely beautiful patina honey honey colored patina if the only thing I've ever said about key pools if you're thinking about getting one whether it's new or uh, pre-loved and vintage is possibly unless it's a 45 which I love without the strap if it's any bigger than 45 I suggest the bandolier simply because they get really heavy and traveling around in and out of cabs or cars or trains they're heavy okay that's what I'm gonna say this guy came with everything lock and key lock and keys the handle keeper you think this is useless but it's not it keeps the handles upright and together so when you're sort of loading it through security it's just really neat uh, luggage tag as I said so that is usually behind me in a lot of my videos it's actually always behind me when I'm sitting on the ground <laughs> and a lot of people ask about it so I'm going to show you how I pack it Okay, to start up with first, I will just show you how I stuff it when you do see it behind me in videos. Uh, so I do always keep the handle keeper on it to keep it up straight, but obviously we'll take him off. So there we go there, I've just popped him on one handle. Uh, so the only thing about this key pull that needed help, I guess, is the zipper. I just got Serena to oil it in the boutique. Uh, I know a lot of people can use baking paper, the wax on bake, baking paper. They run it along the zipper or they run candles or wax. I'm not quite sure. You can YouTube that to oil up a zipper, any zipper, you know, and uh, it runs smoother. I just stuffed this with my throw blankets that I'm not using. And um, what's good about these is they're a cable knit so they breathe. So it doesn't get dusty and whatnot. Uh, but just two of those. Grey one. There's my sheepskin, sheepskin grey one. I'm probably going to need to get them out <laughs> in winter. Because they're actually my throws. Uh, on my couch. But this is it empty. So key paws are super smushy. They just collapse right down. Um, and then as you may know. They're just one big large compartment inside unlike a speedy they do not have an interior flat pocket uh, they only have on this side one d-ring 
which is nice if you want to attach something I guess but yeah just one large compartment so some people find packing these really difficult because of that uh, I'm going to show you how I pack it there are two ways you can pack a keypole to be I guess compact I guess uh, you can roll a lot of people do do that whether it's in a keypole or in any kind of luggage or in Louis Vuitton luggage if you YouTube it there's a lot of rolling going on especially in the boutique the essays roll which I like that but I'm going to just show you today folding and I'm going to do it as if I was going on a trip this weekend so that is the keypole empty I'm just going to show you an overview here of this would be the clothing situation uh, that I would take away with me I guess for a weekender but in my mind <laughs> just because of the way my wardrobe is a lot of black a lot of simple a lot of denim this would probably last me I'm not gonna lie maybe four or five days it, it probably actually would for the pants and the top situation the knickers and stuff it's just a matter of I always overload knickers I don't know why it's just something crazy about me I might be going away for two nights and I'll pack like seven it's so weird especially when you can wash them and hang them out to dry anyway uh, I'm just showing you fitting my passport in as well in case you are traveling you know through countries uh, some shoes thongs a belt jeans pants I am going to try a jacket knickers as I said two uh, long sleeve kind of throw over tops and then um, some tank tops and a longer tank top as well so that is what I would be taking with me clothes wise and then I will show you packing the toiletry and then we'll put that in as well alrighty to start up with the shoe situation I really don't want to show you my Chanel's <laughs> my Chanel espadrilles as I said in one of my last videos they're just disgraceful on the inside they need to be cleaned it's just something I have not got around to either way these guys most probably would be coming with me because I adore them a pair of uh, thongs <laughs> which we call it in Australia or flip-flops as you guys might say so these are my Javianas I do know that these two will come with me so I'll just grab the Chanel dust bag this is one of my bigger Chanel dust bags and I will just go two espadrilles but because they can collapse I'm not worried that they're going to lose shape we flip them over wait hang on we flip them over and put them down on each other like so put that in and then grab the thongs which I've just threaded into each other and put them in as well I tend to do the bag up like this roll it up and lay them flat so they're both flat like that put the bag around each other and then put that as my base in the bottom of the keypole so it's laying in the middle as like a base as opposed to going um, across it uh, horizontally horizontally yeah so it's running along the length of the zipper all right so it's our shoe situation taken care of everything little so such as little items here we have the belt I chose and I did show you I will show you how I put a passport holder in there I'm just gonna leave these till the end because we sort of shove them shove politely <laughs> into corners so uh, pants um, these are my just some workout pants or leggings I guess which I would just hang out in and then my jeans so between these two and maybe another pair of leggings that would be it for me pants wise because I don't wear dresses and pants just work so the way I combat clothes is I choose one end and then I just start basically piling on top of each other can we see that so the the pants are there and the shoes are here still uh, so I pile the clothes there so I know that's kind of like my clothes end so yeah I tend to do it in bases does that make sense so the denim and the pants make like a base 
so it makes like a hard base on the bottom I'm really weird like that and then I grab my tanks which are softer so we've got the three tank tops there and we put them on top on top of the denim so they're resting on top and they're softer <laughs> so for some reason I feel like you go hard and then soft items so in saying that knickers <laughs> and say we're going away for the weekend so I, I, I truthfully would pack like six knickers so that's them on top of the tank tops we have underwear okay so what I will explain after that so we're up to underwear is in is what you do want to uh, try not to do is fill a keep all in the sides heavily you can fit things in the sides but filling in the middle and gradually coming up in the middle is the best way to pack a keep all simply because if you think about it it's basically a duffel tube shape and the more you fill these sides the harder it's going to be to pull this zipper together and tug on the zipper to get it uh, closed obviously and then you kind of have a buckling zipper and nobody wants that so the last sets of clothing items would be my main sort of shirts or parkas. So I have two of those that are long sleeve that would just complete the outfit, throw them on. And then I have one uh, cropped jacket for the night. So if it's colder, these, uh, sorry, a jacket's not necessary seen as though maybe in your country might be summer. Uh, but if it's a cooler night, I'll just take it. So I'm going to, what I'm going to do with these is I am going to stick them in fat end first, if that makes sense. Some of my descriptions are probably not very good. So fat end first where they're folded and then curb it around like so. So now this portion is over the shoes and then that portion is over where the knickers ended and the underwear. So that's the two tops. And then this is my jacket if needed. Again, folded end in first. So what that's doing is creating height up this end and it's letting it drop down on this end. So it's giving us more space up here to put our toiletries. So there we go, that is all the clothes gone into the key pole. I hope my uh, description <laughs> worked. If you can imagine, it would just probably be like layers uh, layers of a cake really and your thicker layers are all on this side with clothes and then it's going to come down so we can fit our toiletries neatly in this side and yeah so let's keep going all right so now we are on to the toiletry 25 so this is my toiletry 25 in monogram print sorry from Louis Vuitton and I got this in Hong Kong it is my heart I love it look at that patina they match and that's so vintage that's from the 80s and this is from like 2010 12 oh love it anyway this is my toiletry 25 and it is absolutely gorgeous it's the half moon shape with one zipper there is another style that has the two zippers with the pull uh, but I opted for this one it comes in most of the canvases would love it in Damier bin, but no. So this guy is absolutely gorgeous. It has its leather lined interior that's wipeable. It's got like a sheen to it, uh, which is super handy because as a toiletry, which I use to absolute death, you can see it's still really grimy from like toothpaste or soap or whatnot. I can go ahead and just wipe that, wash that out with a damp cloth and it's completely fine. It has one interior pocket, like so, all the way along the back wall. Very usable, very uh, deep, very nice. I definitely put bobby pins and uh, brushes and stuff like that in this back pocket so I know straight where to go. Uh, but let's pack this. So first up, I will do just that, what I said. I will grab the brushes that I want to take. Excuse me for these being dirty. I'm going to take these four, which are my more essential brushes that I can get away with a weekend trip just using these four. And I will pop them in that back pocket like so. 
and I'll leave it open for now just in case I want to put anything else in there but then basically I put things in the actual main body compartment standing up so I start with bottles this is my moisturizer that will just go in the back this is my prep and prime from Mac my fix plus that will go in the back standing up I'll just take my roll-on deodorant for this trip and that will just stand up I know I need my uh, makeup wipe removers just just the wipes would do for a weekend away I do have um, my bioderma which I really like to take my eyes off but for a weekend away it's not really necessary I take two palettes so this is my Beverly Hills oh, sorry <laughs> Anastasia Beverly Hills contour kit uh, which I just is just phenomenal and then I will take my shadow couture palette as well and these two slip beautifully on the side without the pocket you can see there they slip so nicely down the side like that can we see that so that's them in there too I will take a perfume and of course I soak myself in Terry Mugler's Angel as always so I'll put that in the end here just on the end and I will take a night cream which is my Chanel Hydra Beauty creme which is just gorgeous I, do, I need to actually get a new pot I'm starting to get to the bottom and I do love it for night cream so I will take that as well and I'll just pop that in like so so there we go obviously for a weekend away this sorry it's a bit grimy <laughs> my large paddle brush hairbrush may not be needed it does fit in here if I have less things I just put the handle at the end the zipper isn't and that's fine or I would put it in the key pool itself uh, but for this trip let's just take the mini version of it so this is the mini paddle brush and I have short hair now anyway so this will be fine and I'll just place it there on top like so and I don't have my toothbrush on me because it's in the shower but a toothbrush inside a toothbrush toothbrush case would of course just fit nicely along this long wall and then the toothpaste on top of it so I know that's pretty much it if I did want bobby pins I can always slot them in that back wall pocket but I don't need them so let's do that up and then do the whole toiletry up and that is that so that's the toiletry packed absolutely packed to the brim this guy is so great truthfully guys if you're looking for a toiletry that will last the distance I know this will and it's look it's just my absolute companion and I love it together with my key pool so we know that's going to go in the key pool the brush has been eliminated this is my toiletry 19 in the monogram and it's the rectangle shape I have done many a rave on this item because it is just beautiful yes I get a lot of questions would I want the 26 yeah I would but it's probably doubling up <laughs> but it is so amazing I probably would rather get just gonna throw this out there the Damier Ibin GM cosmetic case just saying I'm just saying I got my eye on it I really like it cosmetic cases and pouches just look they're my thing okay so down inside here this is my face all of my face makeup so foundations are down inside here we got my MAC um, give me sun bronzer we got my Marc Jacobs translucent powder all of you know concealers primers everything is down inside here so I don't need to pack that because it is always packed and it will come with us so that will go in the key pool and lastly would be my makeup my eye makeup all of my eye makeup stays in this coach poppy uh, pouch that I got in New York in 2010 from Macy's and I swear I have just loved this this thing forever ever and ever and I've been so true to it I probably could have switched it out to you know something super luxury if I wanted to but I don't want to I just love it it's got a purple sateen lining and then all of my eye makeup is in here so mascaras eyeliners uh, liquid eyeliners pomade from 
Anastasia, things like that. It, I go through it and colour it and then it just grows again. Uh, <laughs> probably a little bit too much. I should colour it again. But that is all my eye makeup. Zip that back up and he will go in the key pool as well. So let's put these bits and pieces in. I'll show you how I pack these. Alrighty, so just finishing up here now. This is what we've got going on, which I showed you in the key pool currently our biggest item that needs to go in is obviously my toiletry 25 so that will just go sideways in the end here like that okay slotted down sideways in the end because we know the clothes are going down on an angle so that's where that is and then in front of it i would do toiletry 19 like so i would do uh, eye makeup case like so and then as I said the little items that to show you that you can pack so a belt um, I will just slot that down the side of the clothes there maybe it's better for you to see on this side either or so just down on the side there and then I'm just showing you if you were traveling through countries internationally I use my um, Neverfull um, pouch pochette that goes from the Neverfull which I bought separately from a subby. Hi Stacy. I do use this to travel with. Then I put my passport case which has my jewel passports in it. I put that inside of it because then I put boarding tickets and any travel money or anything like that in this case with it. Zip that up and because it is basically paper thin it fits nicely down the side of a key pool now you can so hang on let me let me twist around to show you here so there's your um never full pochette now that's either or obviously if you're just going on an overnighter you don't need a passport for that so that can come or it can't doesn't really matter um but that's a good way of showing you whether I need it or not, I'll take it out. This is the full original sized iPad. I don't have a case on it because I don't travel with it. But that will fit in the side as the Neverfull pochette did. So you can have an iPad with you and put the cables down on top as well. For this video I will take out the iPad because I know I won't need that. I will... Hmm... Will I put this back in? Yeah, I'll put it back in to show you to do it up as well. So that would be the pochette on the side. And then what I do at this point is I just pull the zippers together like so is how it would do up to see how taut it is and if I have any more room to put anything else. Now I might be shopping on my trip so I might want to leave some space or I might not. That's fine. Uh, options if it is cold. For, uh, just for uh, shites and giggles, shall we say. I will grab one of my Vuitton shawls. This is my Amarant Monogram shawl, which is just gorgeous in the beautiful Amarant Burgundy Purple. So I'll pop that in. It's actually in a Vuitton shoe bag. But I'll lay it out in the bag as straight as possible and I'll pop that on top like so. So there's a shawl as well if it's winter for you in your country and then I'll pull it just to check. Yep, that'll do up. I grab that and if you just have a regular model, not a bandolier, I would grab the leaf because that's what it's for. So you would hold the leaf down, making it nice and taut. Grab the zipper and boom. Bob's your uncle, Fanny's your aunt. <laughs> that actually is a saying. I'm not being gross. Alright, so I've just popped the keeper back on because as I said, that is the handiest way to keep the handles <laughs> upright and together. And especially if you're moving to and through through trains or whatnot, it's just so good to know they're up, even in overhead lockers in planes. So that is the key for completely packed. And again, handiest thing is having the strap, the bandolier, because uh, I am not going to lie, this puppy is heavy. So even this on your shoulder, uh, <laughs> look, look, 
you know what that's where you offload it to your husband or boyfriend or partner and say can you carry this please darling um, because if it is just top handle as I said in 50 or 55 it is heavy especially if you pack it full like that now that is as much as I would pack it I have stuffed it more than that before I'm not gonna lie here is my beautiful Louis Vuitton keep all 50 in the bandolier super vintage uh, from gallery rare again I always link them below but I will link them again and uh, that is it completely packed for a weekend away or as I said I'm sure I could get away with a week with the items that I have in there uh, just to go over yes not light not light by any means <laughs> So as I said, a bandolier strap is always a good option. But yeah, there we go, guys. That is it. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. I do hope you enjoyed it. I hope it was clear to see how I packed it and then how I packed the toiletries which are inside of it. It is a great travel companion. I have done many posts on Instagram and Facebook and Twitter saying that this is the iconic Louis Vuitton item simply because Vuitton started as Voyager and travel and journey suitcases hard trunks and this is their iconic sort of piece and speedies obviously uh, broke down and were designed off these key pools so they're just an absolute collector's item whether it is a vintage pre-loved piece or new either or uh, it is just an awesome companion to have. If you enjoyed this video, please go ahead and give me a thumbs up. If you are thinking about a keep haul, whether new or vintage, let me know in the comments below. And maybe what size and what print as well. I would love this in Damiri bin. I would love this in Damiri bin in the 45 without the bandolier. Because die love a 45 top handle. It's so classy. So anyway... I will see you in my next video, guys. Take care. Peace. Hand in hand, just